It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are fortunate to have on the line with us, and I can't believe we're headed into our third year, but this is none other than the head football coach of the Bland Buccaneers, and that is Coach Ryan Mahon. How you doing today, Coach? Man, I am blessed. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, man, I thank you for being here. I can't believe it's into the third year, man. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, no question. Getting ready for our third year of blend coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And we want to thank you all for the partnership. I think it's been a win-win situation thus far. Um, a special treat this year, and we'll get into it in just a little bit. But we have all 7 o'clock games on our broadcast schedule this year. And uh, you got five home games this year, man. Yep, that's right. Uh, couldn't be more excited to get after it. It all kicks off on August 24th against Texas A&T. But before we get into that, you have one monstrous uh, recruiting year. You signed 38 new ball players. I know you can't go down the list of each and every one, but give us some of the highlights of some of the guys that you're bringing into the fold this season. Well, you know, it, it's funny. You sign guys on signing day, but then you continue to recruit. Um, and we've got some some big guys that came through in the very end for us. Uh, you got Joshua Ellison um, out of uh, A&M Consolidated. You got uh, Devontae Ruggs that's bounced back from Ole Miss. So those two guys are really looking to help us a great deal. Um, also, we signed Chance Amy uh, out of Syracuse. He was here through us without the entire spring. Um, at quarterback, we're excited about him. But then you go down the list on guys that we signed across the board that really filled in depth what we needed. But also, we, hate, we bring in a, a great deal of experience. Now, we've spoken about this before, Coach. Uh, you're on an accelerated plan when you're at the JUCO ranking because you don't have that luxury of the four years of developing ball players. in some cases five, depending on the circumstances. you got to have pinpoint and precise judgment of A, character, and skill level in order to keep things moving on the JUCO ranks, huh? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, you just can't miss on a kid. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of time for development. You try to make sure they stay on track. They know the offense and defense or whatever position they're playing. But you have to have a guy that's game ready from the very beginning. Now, when you are talking about uh, getting guys game ready and the, the accelerated pace for the uh, JUCO ranking, it, does that change the way you maybe set your play structures and play calls and even the name of your plays for you getting these guys coming in and out so fast? Well, yeah, yes. It's, I think it's more of a mentality than anything else. I mean, you've got great athletes, so you've got to get them going in the right direction. Because even if they're a great athlete and they have no idea what they're doing, they're not going very fast. So it's our job as coaches to make sure they play at the highest level possible um, and, and get as productive as possible quickly. So um, you do simplify things a little bit, um, and you make it, make it so they can execute. Okay, and so basically uh, the football is going to always be the same no matter what level you go. you got to be able to run, tackle, catch, throw, and just have a little uh, internal toughness about you. Yes, and make sure you're going in the right direction. That's the most important part. <laughs> in the right direction, in the classroom, and on the field in particular. That's right. We're speaking right now with Coach Ryan Mahon of the Bland Buccaneers, featured here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network uh, with their live broadcast coverage and some uh, tracking throughout. Of course, you can follow Bland Buccaneers, but you can also follow us tracking them at the Mike Prince Show on Twitter handle. Now, Coach, I know what it's been for us to have uh, this partnership, but just in your own words, how has this partnership been beneficial for you guys on, on the Buccaneers side? Well, I think it puts us out there in the community, uh, which is something that you can't, you can't buy that. You know, it's just, you get out there where the community knows exactly who we are, uh, what the kids are doing. It's a storyline uh, for everybody, and it just brings everybody kind of closer and brings them to blend. Yes, sir. It uh, brings people uh, closer, no doubt about it, and I've uh, been speaking here with a few guests that we've had it's amazing in the power of athletics, how it can help shape a person's character. It can help even change a person's direction in life. And it's just an overall bigger factor in life than what most people see from the surface. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can speak about football, but athletics in general. I mean, you're creating these, these human beings that are going to be productive in society and that they have to go through adversity. They have to go through the tough times. They have to do stuff when nobody else wants to get up in the morning and do it. And you're putting them out in the community, and they're going to be great teammates to any colleague that they have because they're built that way. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, of course, you've had some some pretty good success, end up being ranked 15th in the nation last year. And uh, you've come out the gate running, coach, but you had a very stable and supportive cast. Uh, you want to tell us about some of your uh, 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 Batman, well, not your Batman, but some of your Robins that helped keep this uh, Buccaneer train going? Well, you know, I've got uh, Coach Chuck Parsons, who's my assistant head coach, defense coordinator. He's, uh, he's been with me from the very beginning when I got the head coaching job. And then I brought in Coach Andy Felton, uh, who's a godsend to play coach offensive line for us. And then I've got uh, Coach David Awiagi, uh came in with a great deal of experience that helps in the secondary. And then I've got Ali Ogbu, who's a brand-new guy, uh, played for Joe Paterno at Penn State. Um, just a really good, bright, shining uh, young coach that's uh, – going to do a lot of big things in, in this profession. And then I've got one position that I'm getting ready to hire. In fact, we're doing any interviews uh, later on this week uh, for the running back position. So well, I couldn't be more excited. Okay. Okay. So you, uh, you got some uh, pieces that you're going to be adding to the fold. And we know that we all look for that, that next great coach. But are there some things that weigh more than others when you're trying to put your staff together with, as far as what you're looking for? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, are they a family person? I mean, do they care about family? And that instantly transcends, do they care about the kids that they're coaching? They've got to care. If they don't, if they're just in it for themselves, then they won't last very long here or in the profession, in my opinion. And then ultimately, they got to be professional. Um, you know, but just be an overall good person. you got to go to work with this guy every single day. And if, if he's not somebody that I would say nice, then it makes for a long day. So I just try to get guys that are like-minded in that fashion um, just to make the day just go by fast. Now, with you bringing a coach in, I guess, this late in the season, or should I say early in the season, because you've yet to really start officially, um, are there going to be some learning curves, or, or, is, it, or is it going to be someone that um, really just follow instructions well and just get in where they fit in? Well, no, you know, I've, we've been fortunate. I mean, it is Glenn, and people know, this place it's just like recruiting a kid coaches know certain schools and, and we happen to be at one of the most prestigious so i've gotten a lot of applicants um with a great deal of experience uh with a great deal of work ethic and will fit just fine with what we're doing absolutely we're speaking right now with coach ryan mahon of the bland buccaneers they'll start season three off here with us at the open mic broadcast network august 24th we'll be here before you know it coach you open up against texas a and T. Uh, I know it's still early in the foresight, but then after that, you'll have April, um, April but August 31st, you're taking on Tyler, and these happen to be the games that will be broadcasting for the Bucks. On September 14th will be Resolution, and Homecoming will be September 21st against Trinity Valley, and you'll end up your home stretch on October the 12th against Cisco. That's a pretty um, thick menu you have on on the schedule there coach um, looking forward to the 2000, 2019 coverage for you guys oh man I, it's a tough one i mean we always say it um and, and it's not cliche i mean anybody can win or beat you in this conference you've got to come ready to go um and it's a testament to the coaching and to the players in this conference now with everything being on a trend and i know that right now the hot offensive uh, style is the spread and do you ever feel like breaking that trend sometime or you just kind of go with what's the next hottest thing and just kind of stay up and keep up with the Joneses? Oh, no. I mean, you've got to. You've got to constantly learn and try to bring the next next play, next idea, uh, next concept to the table. You at least have to look at it. I mean, if you stay stagnant, then this game will pass you by. Right, right. Now, I can tell you, and I've – been fortunate. I've seen a lot of uh, football in my day on all levels, and I can't help but to stay impressed with Northeastern Oklahoma on how they run that misdirection spread. And it's it's almost mesmerizing. And is it a difficult scheme to learn, or is it just something that people just get a niche and they just perfect it? Well, you know, I, I think it's it's not a difficult scheme at all. It's just something that where you have to recognize it, and you either have to attack it um, and find different ways to kind of kick and prod at it. But um, it, it's something they, they do a really good job of there at NEL. Um, and I, they, they've had great talent come through, and they're just consistent, which is it's a good thing for them, and it's 
Coach Allen does a great job. Yeah, he does. He does a great job. But um, I know this year will be in Miami, Oklahoma. Um, that, that's one where I'm going to send you a, a nice hearty lunch, Coach, and, and a, a sticker inside your lunchbox and say, "Get it done." <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's exactly it. Uh, Miami, Oklahoma, for those who are not aware, it's about an eight, nine hour trek from uh, Blinn. And uh, that and New Mexico trips are probably, I guess the Arkansas trip will be pretty hefty too, huh? Yeah, and this year we actually have to go back to back to NEO and then to uh, NEMI. So it's going to be, we'll be road warriors toward the end of the season. Right. It's, it's a, it's a, a top heavy home schedule. But then I guess it's going to try to prepare you. So hopefully you'll be in the driver's position where you can get you some playoff games at home uh, after you come off those that, long roads. That would be nice. I'd love to have a home game in the playoffs. That, that <laughs> would be a, a, a happy goal. Yes, sir. A happy goal and a, a happy run for you, Coach. We are excited. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to the 2019 coverage uh, and all of the, uh, the exciting plans and the new um, things that we'll be featuring during the Blend Buccaneer broadcast and can't wait to share it with Buck Nation. As we get ready to close this segment out, Coach, I want to give you some final thoughts and comments. Well, I just appreciate the coverage. Um, I pre- appreciate the fans out there. We're going to need them a bunch this year. i uh, got a really tough schedule, um, as usual, and but I couldn't appreciate everyone uh, to the utmost. We've got a really good product that we're going to be putting out this year. I'm uh, really excited. Yes, sir. Now, Coach, for someone that might want to get uh, a ticket or two. What's the uh, contact information that they can call you to get that taken care of? You can go to our uh, athletic website, um, and then you can also get a hold of Debbie Watson. Um, she's our staff coordinator. Uh, she can get you guys squared away. And then also, you can just walk up and and you know pay. I think it's a uh, five dollars for a ticket. Right there at the game, and we could use as many people in those seats as possible. All right, that sounds great. He is Coach Ryan Mahon of the Blend Buccaneers. I am the radio guy, Mike Prince. Reminding you that you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network, and of course, our website, obnradio.com. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.